like to be able to say to you that I was just at home around the corner in Altona and didn't have anything to do, so I thought I'd come and visit, but that's actually not true in the middle of an election campaign. Uh, but Nicola and I are here today to say hello, and I'm particularly here today to just have a few quick words with you about what I think the election's about on the 21st of this month. Now, I know a bit about Lynn Fox, and I've actually had the pleasure of meeting Lindsay Fox. And he did a very important thing for us when the economy was turning down in recent years. He helped us run job expos around the country. 25 of them run already, the 26th happening in Adelaide today. And across those job expos, 11,300 jobs filled. 11,300 people working who wouldn't have been working if it wasn't for the efforts of Lindsay and others. And you know, I think, that uh, it's very important to have a job, to be working here. Uh, we've been joking that I should come every Friday afternoon and maybe get you an hour or so off, uh, but I'm sure, I'm not sure the bosses are agreeing with that, but uh, I'm sure you know how important it is to you and your families to have a job. And a really big thing that is at the heart of this election campaign is about the benefits of having a job. I'm sure all of you realise we've been through some difficult times. And around the world there are working people that got tossed out of jobs. Here in this country we stepped up to protect jobs, kept more than 200,000 Australians working and at the same time we made sure they were working in decent working conditions by getting rid of work choices. So on the 21st of this month, nothing more important than voting for jobs, voting for the continuation of fairness at work. Certainly Nicola and I stand for that. And the thing that I'm also passionate about, apart from jobs and making sure you've got one, is making sure we've got great local schools. As I've moved around, I've met a few people from Altona, uh, people who live just up the road from me. I've met a few people from Werribee, uh, part of my constituency. And right across Melbourne's West, the thing that people really care about is, is my child in a great school? Is my grandchild in a great school? Are they going to get the best of life's opportunities? And certainly what I stand for is continuing to invest in those local schools. And here and right around the country, we want kids to have the very best chance in life. So another big thing for this election campaign. But Nicola's here too, and we are standing in her electorate, and today she's made some local health announcements, and I'm just going to turn to her for a couple of words on those announcements, because I know many of you are going to benefit from the things that she's announced today. Oh, thanks very much, Prime Minister. Look, particularly because so many of you live and work in the western region of Melbourne, I thought you might be interested to know that this morning I was at Williamstown Hospital to make some announcements about health investments in the west. A really good news story, 40 extra beds that are coming to this western region. Um, we've got them at Williamstown, we've got them at Sunshine, we've got them at Footscray and at the Werribee Mersey Hospital. It's $36 million worth of investments and also a new elective surgery theatre at Williamstown. And that cup comes on top of an announcement we made last week that we're putting up to $15 million in this region so that a GP super clinic can be set up in this broader region. There'll be a competitive process. Doctors will say they want to run one here. The university will say it wants to run one and others. And all of this is about making sure that if you're sick, if your kids are sick, if your mother's sick, that you know they can see a GP, get a GP on the phone, get into an emergency department and be treated quickly or get their elective surgery in time. Unfortunately, this is one of the areas where Mr Abbott has said he will not fund those commitments. But we're determined to make clear to the community that we can deliver improved health services so you can see where the beds are, where the new elective surgery theatres are, and know absolutely on the 21st of August what it is that the different parties stand for so you can make your choice on that day. But it was really just because we were here. I know there's a whole range of things over a cup of tea people might want to talk about, but I was keen to let you know these important announcements have been made because some of you would also have been part of lobbying for more investment in the West, in health, and we're very pleased that we are delivering this with the Victorian Government. 
So can I say thank you very much. Uh, we're privileged to live in a great part of the world to represent a great community. Obviously, this nation's heading for a big choice on the 21st of August. <laughs> Uh, and I think that's making that very, yes. dr <laughs> very dramatic the choice for the 21st of August. We're not quite at the final siren yet, but we will be soon. We're looking forward, hopefully, to your support, your support for jobs, better schools, decent health care, and, of course, not returning to work choices. Thank you very much.